What's going on, everybody? This is Al from SLB 06 Revival. And in the last video, we finished up our season demolishing BYU in the bowl game. Had no issues there whatsoever. Finished the season 13-1, and conference champs. Just a miracle season. Big play, big games all around. Texas was a crazy game. Tulsa was the miracle. We had the Hail Mary at the end in order to keep our uh, streak alive. Houston was a really tough game. Then we just started blowing everybody out towards the end, except for ECU. ECU gave us arguably the best uh, tough uh, team of the year against us. Just great all around. We had a hard time against our offense, but we still pulled it out. Won the conference title. Had no problems with BYU. And now we get to go into the offseason and really pick up some talent in the worst way. So we're going to simulate all the bowls. I haven't made any recruiting notes yet. I kind of wanted to do that in this video so you can kind of hear kind of my thoughts, kind of what I'm looking at when I'm writing down, you know, my notes for recruiting, what I need, and all that good stuff. I used to do that outside of the video, but I figured you guys may benefit from uh, at least hearing me sort of what I'm looking at when I'm looking at a, a roster and seeing what's needed. Again, in the previous video, I kind of mentioned this may be a long video, just kind of depending. Six-year extension with SMU, Alabama, South Carolina, they all won us, but we're not going to. We got too much, uh, too many goals left the field to pursue with SMU, so we're going to stick with them. We're going to extend it. We're going to a two-star prestige. We're going to go advance to the offseason. Now, let's go to the roster real quick before we do. I don't want to create a prospect. Let's go to rosters. Now, we have 66 players. We're going to lose 14 of them. I'm pretty sure I didn't redshirt a senior. So that gets us down to 52. I have a feeling we'll have a couple juniors leave. Like Chase, I'm thinking he'll leave. Hopefully he doesn't, but we'll see what happens. Otherwise... That means I want to pick up about close to 20 players, which means I don't need to put a ton of points in the recruiting. I'll have a whole lot to begin with, but I also have a lot of players coming back. Otherwise, I'd put a whole lot of points in the recruiting, but let's just go to the offseason schedule, go to school budgets. And I think I'm going to do the basic. We're going to go 20, 20, 60. Our discipline is below half uh, the, the bar, so I'm okay with it putting it at 20. We still need to bring up a lot of talent in. So I think that's a good spot right here. And besides, with that, with these many wins, you're going to have so many recruiting points. You won't know what to do with yourself. So I may end up having more recruiting points than I need, but we'll see what happens, especially since I'm going to recruit a lot of local kids. So I'm not going to have to spend a ton of points, but I'm also going to use some extra recruiting points to maybe persuade Bobby Chase to come back. We could get lucky. He may not want to go pro. Okay, pro draft. He's leaning towards leaving. Let's talk him into... I've got to talk to my folks. Okay, let's try this again. Let's... There we go. Let's do 30 points. Give me another day or two, Coach. This is the biggest decision of my life. Let's try it one more time. We'll do 20 this time. Okay, you talked me into it. He's coming back. Bobby Chase, coming back. And we didn't spend, but what, 60 points there? So hopefully that didn't mess us up for week one. But he's a big component to our to our offense. That'll take some pressure off of everybody else. Any incoming freshman that may come in and step right away or play out of the gate. Now before we actually start recruiting, we're going to go to our depth chart. I want it's easier to look at your roster after all the seniors have gone, so you can really tell what you need. So let me get my notepad here. We're good at quarterback, but I have a feeling you can, it wouldn't shock me if there's a couple other quarterbacks that may want to come, like a, an athlete or something that I may go after. We'll see. But we already picked up our two quarterbacks. We picked up an outside linebacker. So we know we're okay there.
for losing several quarterbacks, but we did pick up two. They may require us to pick up one more, depending. Before I look at the needs, you know, you can hold down the circle button when you're in recruiting. It kind of gives you a nice summary of your entire roster. I want to look at my roster first before I look at the needs and see how close I get to knowing exactly what I need. So we are going to go returning players. Not Texas. Let's go back. Returning players. Quarterback, we've already got the two picked up. So we got Willis right there, too. I'm excited about him. He's got 78 speed. Halfback, we know we need some A-backs. Let's go A-B. That ain't enough. I am going to move, and I wish they would show me this. Bam, here's what I need to see. Massey is considered a power running back. Martin is considered balance. One of these two guys is going to be back. Probably Martin because of his strength. And I'm sure he could break tackle a bit better. No, Massey could break tackle a lot better. So I may move Massey and probably Martin on the A-back just because of his speed. That's probably the safer bet. Massey will probably go to B-back. So I need to make a note. Let's go down here and just put Massey to B. Okay. But we still need some A-backs for sure. We need depth there. Fullback, this ain't good enough. We're going to go get some B-backs as well. Now, we always go for the halfback pool and convert those over after their freshman year. So I'm going to have one legit fullback with Massey moving over because the regular fullbacks, they just don't convert well with this type of offense. So we're going to have to really load up on a bunch of halfbacks. No, half, no wide receivers. There's no need. We got too many bodies here, and Chase is coming back, so there's no point there. Uh, senior, sophomore, sophomore, and I bet these are receiving, blocking, and balanced. I'm pretty good here, and they're young, and they got some size to them, so I'm not going to bother with the tight end yet. We still want to recruit them. We got to have at least two guys on the roster at all times, and they're always going to be blocking tight ends, but I'm doing good here. I've already got three back. And a couple backups behind our number one guy. Here's where we need some help. We got two seniors, a junior, and a junior. So tackle. Big time. I'm going to put a star by. Well, I don't need to put a star by. I need, I need bodies everywhere. Let's just forget that. Guard. We need talent, period, here. Big guys especially. So we're going to put guard. It's center. We just need talent. Let's go put center. So offensive line is really key to this class. Okay, defensive ends, you know, you know what I like to do? I like to move big linebackers down if we have any. We got a senior, junior, junior. Now, this guy right here could probably play some defensive end. I like his size. I like Cox's size. <laughs> that, never. <laughs> I like his weight and height. <laughs> never mind. Okay, anyway, he may move down the defensive end possibly. We definitely need help with middle linebacker. Now, we picked up the other outside linebackers. That's going to help. But we definitely need some middle linebackers because middle linebackers are the best when it comes to getting defensive ends. So, I may put outside linebacker there as well. We just need some help at linebacker in general. Corner, we got the bodies. If I, hmm, Let's see. Senior, junior, senior. I, yeah. Let's go ahead and put corner. We need to find some real studs there. If not, it may be next year, and they may have to play as a freshman. We'll see. Definitely need free safeties. We've got nothing but upperclassmen. And definitely strong safety. We just don't have enough bodies there to begin with. We need a kicker. And we need a punter. So we need a lot of players. Okay. That's pretty obvious what we need here. So if you go to, like, interested prospects... Halfback, yes. Middle linebacker, yes. Strong safety, yes. But it's obvious we need talent in other spots as well. So it looks like only three stars are interested, which makes sense. I think that's realistic. I'm sure if you go to all prospects, you may have like this halfback right here. 
Five star, his bar's pretty high for me. He's a Texas kid, he's local. But let's go to interested for now. Uh, I want to look at the map first. I'm pretty sure they just have Texas for us, which is true. Okay, just making sure of that. All right, let's just start down the line. Two-star athletes. I'm going to wait on those for now. How many points do I got? I got I got a ton of points to deal with. So we're going to keep it really local. Texas and maybe I want Louisiana to be a pipeline as well, so I may extend that out. We're going to leave them alone for right now. I'm going to wait till I know I have what I need later on. He's a pocket passer. We're not going to deal with him. And we don't need quarterbacks really anyway. So here's some... Halfbacks. Now, a balance, 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 speed, speed, power. So what we're going to do is we're going to scout a bunch of these. I'm not going to scout that Illinois kid. I'm not going to waste the points on him. Texas, Texas. Halls, Tennessee, that's real close to where I live. So I may recruit Tennessee just because I'm a Tennessee guy. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll make my little tenure here at SMU even more interesting if I could pull some kids from Tennessee. Two star. Uh, let's let's just go ahead and do a couple of the two stars. No, let's wait. I'll do... We got to get some three stars first. Some of these two stars may be just as good. But for now, I'm just going to scout those kids. The three stars. Fullbacks, we're not going to bother. None of these guys are, can play the style that we need to play. I'm not going to do receiver. Tackles. Uh, slim Pickens here. Definitely recruit. We got to go after some of these two stars. Looks like we don't have much choice. I'll do one more. Just one guard. Gosh. We'll scout him at least. Center. Arkansas. That's kind of close. We can reg or we can scout him. Um. Let's scout these defensive ends. Normally, like this kid right here would be perfect defensive end for me right there. Love to have him. I may go ahead and put a... Let's go location. Let's look at LSU, A&M, Florida, Louisiana, Monroe. That sounds kind of... Louisiana, Monroe is kind of an odd spot. Let's just go ahead and do location for him. I just want to make sure I don't forget him later on. Because that's an ideal, because you can tell his speed is great for what we're trying to do. And I like his size. Defensive tackle, we're kind of okay, but I still want to recruit this kid here. We'll scout him. Linebacker, 6'4", 207. He looks good. I would take him. 4'6", is good enough for us, for SMU. Okay, we got a scout. Minnesota, no. We're going to Texas, 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 Texas. Here's an Arkansas kid out of... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. Corner, 6'3", 190. That's an ideal player for us. Really fast. I'm going to go ahead. Texas, Oklahoma, LSU, Kansas. Let's we'll go ahead and do location out of the gate and see if he likes it. We know it ain't going to be program prestige or coach prestige. So there's no point in putting that on him. Free safety. We need help here, and this ain't looking good. 6 1 4. Texas, Texas. We'll worry more about their stats in the second week. Right now, I'm just trying to scout as many players as I can. Get out of Colorado. In Nebraska. Gosh, 6'5", 210. We got to recruit him. That's not that far away. Um, Kansas, just not much. Here's a one kid out of Texas. He's a Juco. Kicker, we need help here. I'm not paying attention to their states. Oklahoma. Oh, I, I don't mind Oklahoma being a pipeline, too. So I don't mind recruiting him. Again, we'll just look at the details in the second week. Punter. Texas, Texas, Texas. Let's, that's Mississippi, and he's a JUCO. Huh, that's funny. JUCO Mississippi kid. All right, let's go back to athlete. Let's go after this kid, Louisiana, and Tennessee. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm happy with what I've done. We can go back and look at. I want to spend about 200 points on the team, on the players that don't have me in their top five, but have a high bar. So we're just going to Oregon, Louisiana. Let's do the Louisiana one. 
Nebraska. Here's a, a last one for Texas. Let's do that. All right, 203 points. So now let's go to all prospects. Let's just kind of go down the line here. Uh, athlete. No, let's go to state of Texas first. Let's go to, where's it at? State prospects. Like, here's a three-star athlete that really has me high, but not there yet. So let's scout him. Here's a two-star kid. I'm not going to, I'm going to wait on that. He's a Juco. Quarterback, don't need to. Halfback. I think we're, here's another three-star kid we can scout. Fullback, no. Wide receiver, tight end. Tackle. We scouted Michael Lane. Ah, oh, gosh. I'm not going to waste that on him. I don't know if we can get him or not. We can try it. I got a ton of points, so we can go ahead and scout him at least. Guard. Who that ain't looking good. There's a couple more two-star guys. that. Center. It was just the kid that I've... 66289. No, that ain't him. I'm thinking of something else. Here's a Juco outside linebacker. I want to go to middle linebacker. Here's some four-star middle linebackers. We need to scout all four of these kids. And let's scout this one right here. So we're doing a ton of scouting. Corner. Nothing looks good right there, so I'm not going to bother. Four-star free safety has me high on his list. Or just not in the top five yet, but the bar is high. And I've already scouted those. We can go ahead and scout this kid as well. 6'3", 220. Man, that's a big kid. Strong safety. Man, that just that's not looking good, is it? Oh, gosh. Uh, kicker. Here's another three-star three, a three -star kid. I'm not in his top five, but I'm high on the list. Punter. I hate to really spend that many points on punters, but they're all local, so I'm not spending that many points. Okay, now let's go to the national. All prospects. Oh, first, let me go back to the state. Do the athletes again. Did I... I've done that, didn't I? Yeah, I scouted him. Juco, we'll scout him. Okay, now let's go back to the all prospects. Let's go. Let's just go right down the line here. We can scout this like half. He ain't going to come. We can scout him, though. Five star. I need somebody really high. That, that bar's not high enough. Not high enough. It needs to be pretty high in order to have a chance. Like this four-star linebacker, already done it. Kid out of Iowa, I'm not going to. That's too far off. Out of Louisiana, we'll recruit. Scout that kid. New Mexico, that's close. That's a border state. We've already scouted him. Yeah, we scouted him. I'm sure we scouted this kid, and we did. Three-star, let's, out of Arizona, that's close enough. I'm, I'm sure we, he's the kid out of Minnesota. Okay, we'll scout him. I mean, we have him, he's, we have him high on his list, but still. I'm sure. Illinois. Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, it just if he's interested, we might as well. But it looks like he's born, he wants to stay up north. Okay, I want to go to the athletes. Here's our diamond in the roughs, who you just never know. And then we'll go quarterback and halfback because that's where we'll really. No, let's. Uh, I'll take that back. Let's go here. Defensive lineman. We really need or offensive lineman. We really need to do our best here. I'm sure I scattered this kid. Two stars, okay. Uh, let's guard. Not much there, and those two stars. 
center. Just two stars. Defensive ends. Not too heavy about going after them. Try to go after middle linebackers anyways. Ah, press the wrong button. Okay, outside linebacker. We'll go after this kid. He's a Juco. Kid out of Louisiana. We've already scouted him. Okay, middle linebacker. I think we're good with some of these other ones. I think we've done our made our point with those. Okay, let's go back to athlete. See if we can find a real diamond in the rough. Here's a three-star that's kind of high. It's Oklahoma. We can scout him. And what I will do, whatever remaining points I have, get out of Louisiana, another Juco. We'll recruit him anyways. Now we're down to the two stars. Okay. Our remaining points, let's go back to our interested prospects, to kids who we really want, and we can go ahead and give them scholarships. I got 98 points to go. A kid like this, you would hope he could play like strong safety, but they're two stars, so we need to be more focused on these kids right here. Let's just go. We're high on this kid's list. He's balanced. Got good speed. Got actually pretty good size. Let's go ahead and, and we're number one on the list. So let's just go ahead and do Arkansas, Oklahoma, Rice, LSU. That looks localish. Let's just do location. Until we figure out what he likes. Carlos Williams, we're high on his list. Purdue, Oklahoma, Rice, A&M. That's, let's just get location out of the way. Number two on this kid's list. He's a speedster. He's a pure A back. Oklahoma, Purdue, Nebraska, A and M. Probably playing time, maybe here. Let's do playing time for him. And let's go after this kid. Another speedster. Four four one though. That's not very good. That's a kid out of Halls. I'm gonna leave that a bit as he is. Uh, tackle. Let's go ahead. LSU Tech. UTEP, Arkansas. Let's just do location, I guess. Now let's look at his stats. 466-55. 446-55. 495-655. See, this guy's actually better. Texas, Baylor, Arizona, it's all local. 440, 655, 435, 70. That's really small. I got the rest of them scouted, so I'm okay with that. This this kind of worries me. We don't have a lot of people at guard wanting to come here. 436, 20. That's small. That's really small. Not very strong at all. Wouldn't mind going after him. Defensive tackle. I like his size. Let's just go ahead and go after him. Right, Nebraska, Northwestern, Penn State. Uh, I don't know what he's going for there. He's out of Texas. Maybe playing time. Let's do playing time. I don't know. Just taking a guess. Outside linebacker, 4-6-5. I need to... 6 7 two, This guy may be a good... Not very fast. I was hoping for a pretty decent defensive end. 84 points. Let's really look at some of these guys. 4-6. They're all fairly small. Like, this kid right here would be an excellent defensive end. I'd love... Let's go after him. Texas, uh, Oklahoma State. 5-10-245. An ideal middle linebacker, to be honest. Let's just go ahead and do location, I guess. That dude seems determined to go to A&M. Let's do location on all of them. Middle linebacker, uh, yeah, let's do location on him. And 
pl let's do playing time for this Minnesota kid. Iowa kid. He it seems like he doesn't want to play in state, so he wants to go play in the Big 12 for the most part. He's got a couple Big 10 schools. Let's just go and do playing time for him. I got eight scholarships left. I need to go after strong safety and kicker. I need to go after a couple free safeties too. Uh, 6'1", 195, not the smartest, but he's got some speed. Air Force, Rice, Baylor. Let's just do playing time. 441. This kid's much stronger, not as fast. I'm going to leave him as a scout for now. Strong safety, 65210. Colorado Air Force. That looks like it's a local thing for him. I like his size, though. Let's scout this three star, 439. That's a kid out of Nebraska. That's probably why I didn't scout him. And kicker. Let's try to find the best kicker we can. A minus, A plus, A minus, A minus, A minus C. This kid seems to have the best leg. He's an Oklahoma kid. That may open up my pipeline a little bit for that one. Let's go play in time. Punter. A, B plus, A minus, B plus. Air Force, Rice, Nebraska. I, I'll just do play in time. I'm down to four. I don't have to use them all up this first week. 66 points. Kid out of Illinois. This outside linebacker I need to go after as well. Let's just go ahead. Playing time. I do playing time for this kid. Still got, now your points, I think, carry over. I, I think, I'm not sure. I'm about afraid not to use them. So let's just go ahead and use them. Let's just play it safe and use them just in case. Let's go back to uh, interested prospects and keep scouting kids we haven't scouted yet. Unless there's something here I need, I can find. C minus, that's not very good. Four four one. They are athletes, you just never know. So let's just go ahead and take a chance on a couple of these kids. Look at this one star quarterback. Can he run any? No, he's got a terrible arm though. Let's scout some more of these two star kids. He's a one-star. These one-stars can't play for me. I'm not going to bother. Center. Really don't need the... Texas. Texas. Outside linebacker. Let's recruit some of these. I'm not going to do the JUCO. Oklahoma, Florida, no. Louisiana, yes. Middle linebacker. Just in case some of these three-stars just don't want to bother... Ohio, no. Oklahoma, Juco, not going to bother. Oh, he was a Juco anyways. Texas. Yes. Now let's go back to strong safety. That's super important for us. Arkansas, that's close enough. Virginia, no. Kansas, mm. New Mexico. And I'm down to the blast points. Okay. Advance to the next week. See what happens. That was the longest time I've ever spent on week one. I just had a lot of points to work with. Now, I'm going to spend a whole lot more points in week two because once some kids like a certain pitch, you know, you got to increase your points on those guys. My biggest worry is the offensive line. I mean, just nobody seems very interested. So, definitely an in-season recruiting coming up. I will definitely go after offensive linemen really hard. I need better bodies there. But I just have, like, enough depth to where nobody wants to come, which is a little disheartening. So, my offensive line class isn't going to look too good, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it, really. I mean, either they're not in they're interested or they're not. 
And I've, I guess I just got too much depth there right now. But I went after plenty of players, though, that's for sure. Hopefully we can pick up plenty of good guys in the backfield. I still have my note. Massey's going to go to be back. And we're going to save it before we get to the uh, player uh, position changes, just in case Massey moving to be back doesn't work out. I don't think that's cheating in any way. You're just trying to make sure that we picked up two commitments, I'll be. We picked up that strong safety from Colorado. Wow. He'll start. Wasn't expecting that. And we picked up that defensive end who I really liked. I liked his size. I liked his speed. Awesome. I was not expecting that. Cool. Now, interested prospects. I wonder, here's another strong safety that I was going after. I'm not, we already got, well, yeah, we probably need to pick him up. Let's go here. Okay. Here's the Hancock kid, the athlete. He got us in his top five. He wasn't in the top five before. I've already, all scholarships have been aside. Thank it. I've already used them up. Let's look at current targets. Let's see if anybody just took me off the list out of the gate. Not yet. Okay. We moved up for this Illinois running back. If any of them has a negative pitch, let me just go through them real quick. Then you can cut them real, real quick. Location is working out okay for some of these kids. That kicker. Location for that athlete. So, I'm at a dilemma. I need to cut some of these players. Because there's a couple three-star kids that could be very useful. Let's go, let's do a buy position first. Let's look at a couple of these athletes. I don't know if these guys are going to be worth it or not. They're, I like potential, average, and average. Uh, their awareness is terrible. I mean, that's bad. And their speed's okay, but I think this kid's only good enough to play strong safety. 4-4-8, four, four, I don't know if this kid could do anything. He's got terrible hands. So what I may do is I'm going to just withdraw the offer of both of these kids. Except for this one. Let's just go ahead. Let's just take a chance on him. Just because we got a plus on him. On a pitch. All right. Halfbacks. Illinois kid. We are number one, number two, and number two. Ronald Harrison. Balance. And he likes our pits. Let's go send the house. Don't know much about Walton yet. He's got a terrible awareness. But he's super fast. So let's go location for him. 443 balance for Carlos. Let's, do, let's just keep going after all four. We need bodies here. Let's just do location for him. Don't know if that location is going to help much. Tackle. We need bodies here, so i got to stick with these guys. Let's do playing time. Playing time. Center. We need bodies here, so i got to keep going after them. Already picked up that one defensive end. We're good there. This We went down for this kid. And I don't know if we're going to get him or not. He didn't like our pitch. Either. Let's just withdraw the offer. That's not a need right now. Defensive tackle is not. Outside linebacker. He didn't like our pitch yet. 4-6-5. That's not very fast for that. Uh, let's just withdraw the offer. and We may come back to him later. Because we definitely saw some three stars that went in our top in their top five earlier. Now a lot of these guys we can really go after. Like I'd love this kid. Yeah. Let's go back here. For Minnesota, I'm not gonna bother. Let's just keep it simple. Location, yes. Let's 
through playing time. Yes. Location, yes. Corner. 6-3. We need him in the worst way. Love his size. Free safety. We may have to do some work here. But we need him, though. And we've done the strong safety. The kicker, he liked our pitch. He, liked, he loved playing time. We're going to send the house. Punter. Don't know yet. Uh, come on. There we go. Let's just do location for now. Okay. Now let's go back to interested prospects. Hancock. We got to look at this kid. Let's do playing time for now. Or let's do location. Give him a scholarship. How many do I got left? I got three left. I'm good at a halfback. We've, we're going after four. Four eighty six forty. Looking to see if anybody like the pitch. Nothing yet, so we'll wait. Four forty five seventy. We need this kid would be great to have. He's he's got the size. We need to scout him, or we need to put a scholarship on that kid. He's too huge, and he's got the weight and the strength. That that'd be a diamond in the rough right there. This kid right here, four thirty six twenty. Good, good. This one's poor for that kid. Let's wait. I could have swore. Here's like a three-star defensive end. No, he's too slow. I took the scholarship off of him. Juco. That's the one I took the scholarship off of. Minnesota, I took it off of him. Corner's not super important. Program prestige. I really want that kid. We'll, we'll wait. Whitlock. That's Nebraska. I'm not going to really go after him. I've already picked up that strong. I need to pick up one more, though. And I'm already. I need to target one more strong safety. So I got to go after one of these guys. I'm just looking for a positive pitch. I haven't really seen it yet. 4-5-2. I may have to go that route. Go after this kid right here. Let's have a Juco. Let's go playing time, I guess. I'm going to wait on him. And I got one more scholarship left. Now we need to go to all prospects and see if anybody moved up or down but still didn't put me in their top five. Who got upset that I didn't scout them? And one thing I should have done, I should have waited and done, worked on these guys in the previous week. I think in the previous dynasty, I didn't do anything with these guys. I waited. Like, here's his middle linebacker here that upset that I did not scout him. Is that of Alabama? But his bar's low. That's one thing I just forgot. I should have not touched any of these guys. But I had so many points to use up. I had no choice. Here's a middle linebacker right here out of Texas. Let's go ahead and give him a scholarship. And here's another halfback, Oregon. I ain't going to go after him. We can at least scout some of these kids. Maybe they may move me up. We'll see. Out of Michigan. Eh, that's a pretty low bar. I don't think I have a chance. I'll go down to like the 200s before I go back. Here's an outside linebacker out of Georgia. Nah. Bar's only half full anyways, but... It, Get out of Utah, punter. I can scout him. And now we can go. I've already used up, haven't I? Yeah, I'm out of scholarships. How many points? Like, I got 185 points. 
That's a lot of points. So what we can do is go back to targets and use the rest of these points on these kids. Let's go send the house. Maybe this will help. Let's just... Make sure I've done that correctly. Yes. Yes. Just give them all massive points. Don't know if this will help much, but it ain't going to hurt either. At least we get to use up all of our points. And that's it. Now we're just down to three points. All right, let's go to the next week. See if we can get lucky here. May get another commitment or two. We had several guys that liked our few of our pitches. So maybe we can bring in some more there. I'd love to load up on like 18 three-star kids. That'd be great. Don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. I need to get some running backs to commit. That'd be nice. I feel like it didn't help that Massey got hurt, was out all season last year. Martin and Dorsey done a great job of pretty much carrying the load in the backfield, but it helps to have depth there because running backs and quarterbacks in this offense get hit all the time, thus there's going to be injuries along the way. One thing to note about, if you're a Texas school and you're going to recruit a lot of Texas kids, that kind of goes to show you probably don't need that many recruiting points. I mean, I got a ton of recruiting points. I'm going after a lot of kids, but it seems like you don't need that many. Just because you're going to recruit local, you're not going to spend as many points. Okay, we picked up a Harrison kid out of the halfback, middle linebacker, another halfback. That's great. That's We really needed that. Athlete, two-star. We don't know if he'll do anything. And a center. At least we got a little bit of help on the line. Let's go to current targets. Everybody and their brother moved up. That's good. Let's see if anybody took me off. Not yet. I've got 15 commitments already. No, 10. My bad. Read that wrong. Athlete. Let's do location. I'm going to do just at one point for now until we figure out. Get out of Illinois. I don't... I don't know if I'm wasting my time here or not. We moved up on his list, and he's really talented. Probably the most talented running back of the bunch. Let's do coaching style. Arizona, let's do location. Send the house for him. He liked that one. Location. Let's do... Auburn, he, it's kind of all over the place. Let's do coaching style. Let's just do coaching style. That's not really reflective on how good your coach is. That's just how you, the type of offense or defense you run, depending on that prospect. Let's just do coaching style. Let's do location since he's a local kid. I like a couple of these kickers to go ahead and commit. That'd be nice. That way I don't have to bother recruiting them. One point. Okay. Now let's go back to interested prospects to see if anybody kind of came out. Like this free safety here. It worked out for us. He likes us. I need to get rid of a scholarship. I have to go after this kid. I need him badly. Oh, gosh. Here's a punter. Not a good accuracy, so I'm not too worried about going after him. Uh, we need a cut. Let's go current targets. Oh, gosh. Here, I, I need a body there. Kicker, punter, guard. Somebody got to go. 
Let's go. Okay, we've already picked up two halfbacks. We're, we're recruiting another one as well. Let's let's just not recruit this halfback from Illinois. Let's just withdraw the offer and go back and get a bigger need, which is this free safety right here. Okay, I got 111 points, so let's go back to current targets. Let's max these out. Uh, let's wait on that one. He's a Juco, so I'm not in a huge hurry to put a ton of points on him yet. Only if we need to. I'm surprised we're not seeing any negative pitches yet. That's because it's probably program prestige and coach prestige that they care about so much. Okay, I'm down to 13 points. Uh, let's go. I need to go back to interested prospects, and let's just. I guess we can scout a couple more if we haven't already. What do you have? Okay, I've done 13 points is not a big deal. Let's just advance to the next week. Pick up a few more recruits, then adjust accordingly. Hard to believe this is only week three. We still got two more weeks of recruiting left. I'd love to get 20 plus. My goal was 20. I think we can get there. We need another good little haul this week. I'd like to get that other half back. Having three would be pretty good. Plus the guys we already have, I think that'll be more than enough for depth because all my running backs are coming back. If I'm not mistaken. And I don't remember if one of those halfbacks that committed was the one that's really fast, the the run the one the one that runs the four one eight. I'd like to move one of those receivers to an A back, but I don't think that's gonna work. I I tell you what I may do is those those little skinny fullbacks that I got that are terrible, I'd love to move to halfback, to A-back just because they're pure speed. I may do that anyways. I don't have enough depth at B-back to move them except for like one of them. So, I don't know. That's something I have to think about. Just because they're so fast. Whoo! Okay, we got a corner. We got the athlete. That was great going after a kid like that. He wasn't in our – I wasn't in his top five. We scouted him. We moved slowly up. He's a local kid. Well, El Paso is like several, several hundred miles away from Dallas, but still. In-state, two middle linebackers. This kid right here, he's a little too short to play defensive end, but we may move him down there one day. We got that kicker. That's great. Free safety. That's a two-star. And we picked up that punter. So we're good at kickers for the next three years at least. Awesome. Let's go to current targets. Let's take off anybody that – this free safety, that was a good try. I mean, we got, we was able to get in his top five, but it was a little too late. Let's get rid of him. I got one scholarship left. Let's do coaching style. Let's do 15 points. I know we're going to have the points to do it. Strong safety. We already picked up the one. We need another one. So we got the two. We may get a third one. What should do... Coaching style for now. Middle linebacker, send the house. Academics. This offensive line really worries me. Kid out of Texas to do academics, I guess. Yes. Academics. I'm not doing the prestigious. They're not going to work for us. So we got... 50 points left and one scholarship. Tack on a guard. Dang it. We need those. We need these three guys to commit badly. And we went down this guy's list. That's not good. So let's go. We have to put a scholarship on this kid. We got no choice. And I'm out of scholarships, aren't I? 
which is fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's just go on to the next week. We've already maxed everything out. So the last week, hopefully we can get another four or five more. Then we can focus on the last four or five spots to players that we really need. Pretty good haul so far. I think we got 17 commitments maybe. We may get close to 25. It'll, it'll be tight. I don't know. I don't know if we can get the 25, but we'll see. I'm happy so far outside of uh, outside of the offensive line. Defensive line, we're going to have a couple middle linebackers that get moved down, so I'm not too worried about defensive end. And we got depth the defensive tackle. But the priority, obviously, going in the regular season is going to be both lines. I may recruit nothing but just linemen. Just some three-star kids. All out of Texas, maybe Louisiana and Oklahoma, something like that. We should pick up a few more recruits right here. Commitments. Jeff wears Birkenstocks. How high do you have to be to come up with a song title like that? Okay, good. Attack on a guard. At least we got some bodies there. Let's go to current targets. Let's see if anybody, these, this middle linebacker didn't like us. The strong safety. That was the Juco side. That doesn't hurt my feelings too badly. See, this tackle, we keep... Hmm. Send the house. We'll do program prestige, I guess. That's not going to help us, but... We're down, we got three scholarships to give, so let's try to put them on somebody. Let's go to Insta Prospects. I think th these were all just scouted players. So what we can do, I got three left. Let's just look at these really quick. Still want some bodies here. 486.40. 44655. He's got a better squad, but less bench. 4655. He's small though. He's small. 611292. Let's go after this kid. Playing time. Let's do a max on him. 6 He's got the size and he's smart. Let's do playing time for him, I guess. And a guard. I still want more bodies here. 6'4", 290. Not very strong. This guy's stronger. He's just a two-star. And down to six points, and that's all of our scholarships. So that's it. Let's go to current targets, make sure I maxed everybody out. Don't remember if I've done this or not. It looks like I did. All right. You can't do any better than that. I've maxed everything out. So let's see if we can pick up a couple more of those linemen. That'd be great. Just for depth. Don't expect them any of them to do much, but at least we got bodies there. So we ended up... 300, all the points that I used for recruiting ended up being what I needed. I was able to use all of them for the most part, so that's that's still pretty good. Still doing it at 60. I've never done, I mean, unless you absolutely have no talent, no bodies whatsoever, understand why you need to recruit that many kids and why you need that many recruiting points. But even here, I only had 14, or 14 spots on the roster available. And in a in a state where I don't have to use a ton of points, 60 was the max that I went, so I should never have to go beyond 60 uh, percentage points for recruiting ever while I'm at SMU. There should ever be no need for that because I'm going to get over 20 kids here anyways, it appears. I 
I don't know if any of these kids will contribute right away. Maybe a halfback or two. A quarterback probably will. One of the two that we picked up in the regular season. And I don't know if either. I tell you, that freshman that we redshirted may play some next year. Just got to look at the roster and see who's talented and who ain't. And Finished 13th in the country. Incredible. All right, middle linebacker, a halfback, another one. Is this the one that was really fast? Dang it. And a guard. I saw the guard. So let's look at our signings. I don't know how many we picked up. Well, let's go to top classes. Come on. Come on. Come on. We finished 28th. 22 kids. That's great. 14 three stars and two eight stars. Eight two stars, sorry. All right, let's look at the signings. Two athletes. We may get lucky. This Hancock kid may turn out to be pretty good for us. I can see him playing safety, though. Quarterback. Picked up two studs there. Three halfbacks. Provide us some depth. The 418 kid, he's an A back. Carlos Williams may be a B back down the road. No, he's 5'9, 191. He'll probably be a B back or an A back. 6'1, 212. Harrison, Harrison may be a B back for us. We'll see. One tackle, two guards at least. A center. All two star kids. Three star defense being that he committed out of the gate. Outside linebacker, that's the one we got in the middle of the season. Good little haul, middle linebackers. This kid right here, Terrence, Terrence Robinson. Ideal defensive end for me down the road. 5'10", 245. That's a stocky kid. This kid could probably play defensive end. Ideal corner, tall, fast. Free safety, two-star kid. I may be a little bit worried about that position. We've done great with this kid right here. He will start. And we picked up two kickers. Awesome. What we needed. Okay. Finalized recruiting. Let's save. I got to remember to move Massey over. We need to pay attention to some of these kids and see... Because some of them may be able to move to somewhere else. Like, I would love to try one of those little fullbacks at A-back. That'd be cool. But I don't know if I have the depth at fullback to move one over. I need some depth at B-back anyways. I may be able to move both Martin and Massey over. But I don't need that much depth. And I can always use the twin halfback sub-package to where you don't feel like you have to have somebody at B-back to begin with. We'll just look at the roster and see... We save it. Off-season schedule. Position changes. Here are our quarterbacks. Here are the here's a true freshman and true freshman. Good speed everywhere. Now this kid's gonna go up a little bit with the training because he's already been or no, this kid right here will move up because of the training. So it'll be a tough battle for who's gonna take that spot. I don't know who's gonna get it. Somebody will though. Halfback. Dorsey Harrison. His strength. I'd look like fullback would be great, but I can't do that till next year. True freshman. This is the 98 speed. Can't wait to see him play. There's Massey. I'm going to try to move him over to fullback here in a minute. He's not as strong, but he's bigger. No, he's actually small all around, but he could break the tackles. I'd love to move over both. But we're going to move him over, see if that helps. Massey, like, these two speedsters, I'd love to move over. Ooh, they do move over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if that's going to work. Is it going to work? We're going to, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move Martin over as well. We'll just see if that happens. This may be a complete train wreck, and I may have to restart the dynasty again, or uh, go back out and uh, upload the dynasty, or the file. That may work out, though. 
I need, I'd like to get another one over there, though. I just can't do a... Because those two speechers would be great. I hope these two guys move up. That's the key, though. Okay, nothing's really going to change here. I'd like, I'd love to move this kid to halfback. He's a 65 either way, this worn kid. He'll never play much. I may just leave them all as is, though. With receivers, it doesn't really matter. Tight end doesn't make a difference. Here's his true freshman, 68. That's not bad. Let's put this guy left. He'll be a backup to him. And that guy will be back up him, and I can redshirt Holman. Guard, 68 for this kid right here. He'll probably move up, so let's just go here. Right guard, left guard, that's fine. That doesn't really matter at this point. At least I got bodies. Not very good bodies, but it's it's bodies at least. I'm not going to do anything here. Defensive end. Palmer is true freshman out of the gate. But he probably will move up. So, I'll probably leave that as is. I'll probably leave that as is, and I'll probably move. Do that or something. Split those. Defense tackle don't have to really change nothing here. Just some really bad players. I'm going to cut a couple of these. I'm, I'm four over, so that's not too bad. It's going to be a three-way tie for who's going to take... I don't know who's going to start here. Probably this true freshman. The true freshman, more than likely. We'll keep that as is. I know. Let's go to outside linebacker. Middle linebacker. Carrington. I don't really need the depth here. I got a senior and a junior. I'm kind of doing okay here, even though I I may move like... Oh, they're all freshmen. And I ain't going to move them yet. We got to keep all that as is for now. I was going to move this kid over. He's going to be a waste unless I move him somewhere. I'd like to move one of these over. 6'3", 235. 72, 68, 72, 70. I may move Robinson just because of his speed. 72. So let's try to move Robinson over to left outside linebacker. Let's just do that. That way I can move this kid down and make some use of him, of some sort. Oh, let's go back. I think I goofed up on that. Let's go. He's got the 72 speed, so let's just move him a defensive end. Okay, corner. Don't need to change nothing here. I've just got some, some bad bodies I probably need to get rid of. Free safety, senior, Juco, McKende, and Wiggins. I can redshirt him. Freshman to Juco. That looks good. Kicker, kicker. Okay. 68. Corner. Looks like Hancock can't do much. Juco, he's a true freshman. 70. Probably put him at corner, maybe. But Hancock isn't very fast. And he's got some speed to him. Fullback can't... I mean, he don't have... Can he run? I don't even know if he can run. Carey is a 56, so can he catch? 70 on the catch. 68 at receiver. That's not even a good catch, to be honest. So he probably needs to play defense. Corner or free safety? Probably we'll just take him a corner for now. And we can redshirt him. We got some seniors here, so he'll be able to ready to play next year. Not this year, but the next year. Brantley, 68, 84 speed strength. I'd love to put him a fullback. That'd be great. Looks like I'm not going to be able to. I might have to wait till next year to do that. Defensive end, 84. 
How big is he? Six feet two twenty four. Let's just put him a defensive end, I guess. So let's go back to the defensive end. I got a ton of bodies here. Let's move. Which one was he? I moved. He was the he was the middle linebacker. So I'm okay leaving that as he is. Uh, I'll just leave all that as is. I may move one more. Of the Do left in. That's fine. Just a lot of bodies. So, okay, let's go to training results. I think that's done. I think I've done enough there. The big key is those halfbacks. Are they going to cooperate with their ratings? If not, I got to start this all over again. They should, though. We'll see. Especially those little skinny fullbacks can move to A back and can really help out. That'd be nice. Just more depth there. And they could be a little bit more useful compared to being a B back. Yes, it looks like some of these guys moved up. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Looks like uh, Phyllis went up to 74 on the... Or no, he's stuck at 72 speed. Turner and... Here are my two little skinny halfbacks that got moved over, and now they could be at least somewhat serviceable at, full, at a back. Good deal. Here's the biggie, Martin and Massey. Got to move up a little bit. 72 overall. Wasn't he a little bit better before, though? Wasn't he like 70-something? This was great, though. Breakthrough. That was big, 78. He's more useful there. Because he was, what, 68 last year? So that's big for him. Good for him. Wide receiver, not much is going to change there. Big thing is, I think, defensive end. Cleveland moved up. He's only 59 overall, so that ended up being a waste for that kid. He was the one that was terrible to begin with, so it didn't really make a difference. Some of these other ones ain't going to really show much. We can look at the rest, but don't really matter. Let's go to cut players. The good thing is all those halfbacks worked out correctly. Okay. I need to cut four guys. I'm not cutting any of these. The halfbacks. Not going to cut any of them. Still a little short there. I know eventually I can move one of these back over. They're all really small. Harrison may be a B-bag down the road. He's got some strength to him. 70 strength. But for now, you don't want to do that with a true freshman. Sixty-five. I need to cut four. I'm not going to cut any of these guys. I may have to cut something like that. Nope. I'm not going to do it. Cleveland will cut him. That just ended up being a waste. We'll cut this sophomore, 48. Corner of 62. I don't use that many corners anyways. Let's go back to wide receiver. Junior, and he's really slow. Let's go ahead and cut him. And that's it. That's our 70 right there. Let's go to depth chart. This may take a little bit. And then, before you leave, I'm not going to fool with the depth chart. I'll leave it as is. But we'll look at the rosters and see some of the numbers on the new freshmen. I'm curious to see who they, what numbers they picked, especially some of the halfbacks and whatnot, the quarterbacks. So that was a pretty good class overall. I mean, it's 23 freshmen. We got 15 seniors for next year. So, it's going to be another solid class. I may do like a 20, 30, 50 split next year, depending on our seniors and who's really leaving. Losing those two linebackers, it's going to hurt us. 
it's just you can't replace talent like that unless you just got backups behind them that are equally as good, but we don't. So our priority in the regular season is linemen, linemen, linemen. Defensive tackles, offensive tackles. We just need better bodies. I'm glad we got some bodies, but they're not the best, but you never know with injuries. I don't know if we may have a couple of freshmen play some this year. I don't know. Just have to look at the roster again. Just pay a little more attention to it. I should have done it from here, but the numbers on the refreshmen don't show up at the cutting part. They will when we look at the rosters. Need to get big tight ends, strong, who can hit a defensive end if needed. Got some players that are pretty good, but we got Chase, though. That's the big key. <coughs> the good thing is we'll be able to redshirt a lot of kids. I don't know who's going to start a quarterback. I'll have to just look at the the talents and just kind of make a decision. We may have a couple different guys play. Of course, when you got to run an option-heavy offense, you're going to have quarterbacks who are going to get banged up anyway. So it's good that we got a little bit of depth there that can run some. Good to have some depth at both A and B back now. Let these recruits roll in. Okay, let's just go to next season. Then we'll look at the roster real quick, and then I'll let you go. It's been a long video. This won't take as long. See, Phillips only has 72 speed, so he's probably not going to start. I need speed there. So I don't know if I, that 80 overall, that Willis kid is going to play, or Butler. I, I don't know. I'll come up with something. Probably Willis out of the gate. Maybe I can redshirt those two freshmen. That'd be nice. And have Phillips back up for Willis. Because Willis is only a freshman, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go to the rosters real quick. Okay, 16 for Tony Butler and 17 for Brett Kidd. One of those will start, well, no, probably Willis because of his speed, and I can redshirt these two guys. Halfbacks, 28 for Ronald Harrison, 27 for Ken Walton, the little speedster, 35 for Carlos Williams. He may not play all that much. He's not very strong, and he's slow. He'll definitely redshirt this year. At least we're getting a little bit better at fullback. We got some true guys there that can play a little bit better there than what we had before. Now we don't have to do the sub packages as much. That's the key. Don't have to waste our time with sub packages. Receiver, did we get anybody? Didn't get anybody. The tackles, uh, 67 for him. 60 and 72. 61 for the center. 90 for Brandon Brantley. Now, he's probably going to start. <laughs> Him and Rodgers are going to be starting. And we got backups behind them. So we got some good depth here. I can even redshirt Palmer. And Brantley was the one that we moved over. He was the athlete. So that's great. He's the, Okay, he's the two-star kid that we moved over. He's really small, but he's got great speed. He'd actually be better than an outside linebacker, but either way. We didn't pick up any defensive tackle. Uh, 47 for Terrence Robinson. He moved down a little bit, but not it wasn't a whole lot. And 46 for Alexander. I could probably redshirt at least one of those. 
37 for Marvin Sussman. 42 for Gavin Webb. 51 for Jason West. A couple of them will register. The other one will be a backup. That just doesn't really make a difference at this point who. Jeremy Bowen, 39 at corner. Really excited about him. Thankfully, we don't have to play any this year. I can redshirt him. Picked up the other freshman. Sam Hancock, that was the other athlete. 25. 13 for JT Wiggins. Probably redshirt him. It's looking like because I got good coming back. And 20. John Busing. Joe Busing. 65210. Super excited about him. I think we've done a good job at the safeties. 41 for Joe Lumpkin to the kicker and 48 for John Wright, the punter. All right, good deal. Come on back. We'll start our season two of our SMU dynasty. See if we can keep this gravy train rolling. I'll talk to you later.